Hello everyone, this is Earth's electric field. A near uniform electric field of approximately 150 newtons per column directed downward surrounds Earth with the magnitude increasing slightly as we, we get closer to the surface. So, what causes the electric field? At around 100 kilometers above the surface of Earth, we have a layer of charged particles called the ionosphere, which is presented in the picture. So the ionosphere is responsible for a range of phenomena including the electric field surrounding Earth. In fair weather, the ionosphere is positive and the Earth largely negative maintaining the electric field. In storm conditions, clouds from localized electric fields can be larger and reversed in direction. The exact charge distributions depend on the local conditions and variations of of anything that are possible. If the electric field is sufficiently charged, the insulating properties of the surrounding material break down it and it becomes conducting. For, for air, this occurs at around 3 times 10 to the power of 6 newton over column and air ionizes ions and electrons recombine and we, we get discharge in the form of lightning sparks and corona discharge. Earth's electric field where where does it, there is fair weather field, Earth and the ionosphere or a, a layer of charged particles are both conductors. They produce a uniform electric field of about 150 newton over column. And in the presence of the storm clouds, the local electric fields can be larger. At very high fields, the insulating properties of the air break down and lightning can occur. Good day everyone. This is all about electric forces in biology specifically the DNA. So basically, classical electrostatic has an important role to play in modern molecular biology. Large molecules such as proteins, nucleic acids, and so on are so important to life, are usually electrically charged. So DNA itself is highly charged. It is the electrostatic force that not only holds the molecule together, but gives the molecule structure and strength. So DNA, there are basically there are four nucleotide bases are given the symbols A which stands for adenine, C for cytosine, G for guanine, and T for thymine. So the order of the four bases varies in each strand, but the pairing between bases is always the same. So C and G are always paired and A and T, T are always paired, which help to preserve the order of bases in cell divisions, which is called as mitosis. So as to pass on the, the correct genetic information, since the column force drops with a distance which stands the formula F, F infinity 1 over R squared, the distance between the base pairs must be small enough that the electrostatic force is sufficient to hold them together. So DNA is a highly charged molecule which about 2 QE or fundamental charge per 0.3 times 10 to the 9 meters. The distance separating the two strands that make up the DNA structure is about 1 newton meter, while the distance separating the individual atoms, which base is about 0.3 newton meter. One might wonder electrostatic forces do not play a larger role in biology than they do if we have so many charged molecules. The reason is that the electrostatic force is diluted due to screening between molecules. This is due to the presence of the charges in the cell. The next application of electrostatics is serography. Most copy machines use an electrostatic process called serography, a word coined from the Greek words serox for dry and graphos for write. A selenium coated aluminum drum is sprayed with positive charge from points on a device called a crotron. Selenium is a substance with an interesting property. It is a photoconductor. That is, selenium is an insulator when in the, in the dark and a conductor when exposed to light. Serography is a dry copying process based on electrostatics. The major steps in the process are the charging of the photoconducting drum, transfer of an image creating a positive charge duplicate, 
attraction of toner to the charged parts of the drum, and transfer of toner to the paper. Touchscreens are made of two separate layers. The top layer is made from a flexible and transparent material such as polyethylene, which is common plastic used to make things like soda bottles, and the bottom layer is made of something more rigid like a sheet of glass. To make the screen work, both of these layers are thinly coated with some sort of metal compound that conducts electricity, like indium oxide. These layers these layers are also separated by tiny insulating dots which don't conduct electricity. It is called spacers. Voltage driven electrons on a touch sensor produce varying E fields or also known as electric fields. The sensor also has sensing electrodes that receive coupled E fields. When your finger gets close to the sensor, your finger reduces the E field which is sensed by the sensing electrodes. A microcontroller calculates your position from the magnitude of the sense field. These E fields are effectively only a few millimeters. Approximately, sensors typically have larger electrodes but still have voltage under 5 volts. Welcome to another part of the video series entitled Electric Fields and Forces. At this moment, I'm going to discuss about electric field on forensic science. Before we begin, let us give a short recap on electric fields. The principle of electric fields describe how in an electric field, charged particles emit electric fields that cause other particles to experience force. These charges can either attract or repel each other. Such behavior of charges are now being utilized in a study to effectively pinpoint and possibly estimate the date when a fingerprint was left behind. Forensic scientists at the University of Sussex have published research findings in Forensic Science International describing a new method for finding fingerprints at the scene of a crime. Rather than dusting or other chemical techniques, this team has developed a means of detecting fingerprints using an electrostatic charge. The sensors work by detecting extremely low frequency electrical activity over a distance of 5 microns with 1 micron being equal to 1 millionth of a meter. This microscopic scale and sensitivity allows the sensor to map a high resolution image of electrical charge that occurs over the surface of a surf source material, for example, a human finger, when it makes contact with a thin insulating surface, which in most cases is a plastic surface. The trace of this electrical charge left behind the finger is imaged using an electrical field microscopy system. And this is where the video concludes. Stay tuned for more updates. Thank you. Scenography. What is scenography? Scenography is a dry copying process in which color powder adheres to a part from the surface remaining electrically charged after it is being exposed to uh, light from an image from a document to be copied. So, scenography has a selenium based aluminum drum. So why is it selenium? So selenium is actually a photoconductor. A uh, photoconductor means that selenium is an insulator when it is, when it is exposed to the dark and a conductor when it is exposed to the light.